Dear brothers and sisters, I suppose some of you have uh, read in the newspapers and also uh, have seen on uh, TV about uh, the uh, killing <clears throat> and the uh, shooting uh, of um, former mayor in, uh, um, in Mindanao and uh, how many uh, were killed? Well, the mayor, former mayor, and then the uh, uh, the her bodyguard, and then the uh, security guard of uh, the University of uh, Ateneo, and they were also injured, like the daughter who was graduating. Well, there were others who were injured. And uh, the <clears throat> uh, crime was made by a uh, uh, physician. And um, this physician has a grudge against uh, the former mayor. And so he took this opportunity to uh, kill and uh, also to uh, try to kill more others. Alam niyo po nakakatakot itong mga ganitong nangyayari, itong mga violence, karahasan, at uh, hindi lamang itong nangyari sa Ateneo, kundi uh, maraming mga crimes that are committed. For example, uh, there are those who are drug pushers and drug lords and uh, there are those uh, who are also uh, do illegal gambling uh, those that uh, also have uh, this uh, sex uh, uh, abuse and uh, crimes and uh, also uh, carnappers and so on and so forth. Well, today uh, we have read and you have uh, heard about the uh, parable of our Lord about uh, the good and the bad <coughs> fish and according to him that uh, um, in the last uh, death, uh, days, there will be uh, uh, the nets that will be uh, uh, used to um, to pull out the fishes. At yung mga masasamang mga isda ay itatapon. At yung mga mabubuting isda naman ay uh, they'll put in a basket uh, to be sold. Now, itong dalawa uh, uri, yung uh, uh, masasama na mga isda ay itatapon sa uh, tatapon sa apoy at yung isa naman ay uh, pupunta po sa langit. So, Overlord is saying that uh, um, this um, bad people will be punished, but the good ones will be rewarded in heaven. However, my dear brothers and sisters, we should pray that uh, the Lord will also hasten to help eradicate evil in our world, although that is impossible. Dahil nandyan po ang Diablo, nandyan ang Satanas to tempt many of our people. But we can also do something, my dear friends. Um, like for example, we contribute uh, a goodness uh, instead of you know, con uh, condoning what uh, the evil uh, people the criminals are doing. 
there is a saying that the only way by which evil can thrive in society is for the good to do nothing. Now I remember in a certain office in Makati, a friend of mine related to me how she did something in order to eradicate corrupt practice in their office. He said uh, <clears throat> there were some officers uh, who were uh, you know, stealing from the coffers of the uh, company. Now, she was afraid to come out openly and accuse them. So what she did was she went to their employer or their boss and secretly told the uh, employer that something fishy is going on and that this and that are uh, uh, creating or doing corruption uh, anomalies. And you know, this uh, employer <coughs> uh, investigated and true enough, this, uh, some, most of them were accountants. Uh, they were caught uh, stealing from the coffers of the uh, office. Eh kaya sila po ay natanggal sa trabaho and then they were also accused in court. Now, this is one example of one what we can do for uh, people uh, who are bad, you know, vicious, as our Lord said in today's gospel. Then another thing is that we should pray that our justices should also be faster in uh, uh, judging uh, these, uh, these cases that are um, given to them. And not only fasts, because we have a very slow uh, justice system, that they should also be honest and they should be also just in uh, imposing their uh, uh, verdict on uh, the, uh, on the uh, culprit. So, you know, dear brothers and sisters, indeed, uh, there are really so many, so many crimes. There are so many injustices. There are so many violence that are going on. At um, uh, napakahirap talaga, but we should also do something. And another way to do something is uh, to pray to the Lord that uh, He will also hasten the punishment of those who are doing evil. So let us end by praying the prayer of uh, St. Francis of Assisi and pray for peace, for nonviolence, and also that we be instrument of his peace and love. Let us bow our heads. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Injury, pardon. Grant that I may not seek to be consoled as to, be con as to console, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.